Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to Financial Juneteenth, where we encourage black economic empowerment through financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and combating workplace discrimination. I'm here with my man, Mr. Andre Hatchett, out of New York. He's the founder of BuyBlackNYC.com, and he's also a young businessman who's just doing all kinds of great things. How are you doing today, brother? Doing great, Doc. How about yourself? Doing really well, really well, man. Now, now you always uh, impress me because you have so much energy, so much enthusiasm for uh, black business, uh, black-owned business, black wealth building, and uh, and you've you've done many things. I mean, you, you sent me videos, you've written articles, you've done a lot of you know you made contributions to Financial Juneteenth as well as all the other things you have going on. Um, but you actually uh, sent something to me that that really. Uh, seems to be resonating with people that I really think uh, could be something that um, that we all grab onto, and and it's a challenge related to supporting black business. Uh, can you tell me about this challenge? Yeah, sure. I was challenged. Well, I'm sure you heard of the A A C L A A L S. ALS. Yeah, which which <laughs> we'll get into that later. So there's no, there was no way I was doing that one when, when there are so many black men dying in the street like animals. So I said no, no, no. But I was I had a Good challenge, which I support. And I was challenged by a friend of mine in Kansas City. He, he, he actually has a website called KansasKCBlackNewsDirectory.com. And he challenged me to go to black-owned business, talk to the owner, and make a short video and blast it out. And we're calling it the, um, uh, the Black Business Challenge. So I did that yesterday. I'm at a store called Sneaker Pawn in Harlem, New York, a 16-year-old kid is selling sneakers at his own store and people come there they pawn them and he's making interest on the collateral he's doing great things great young man and i did it yesterday and i, and I did it i said you know this feels really cool i said i own a company called buyblacknyc.com i'm sure that i can do something better than one day in one video so I'll, today um, i go to a juice bar here in yonkers at the locks own um styles and kids of the rap group the locks they, and um, I went there. I was like, you know, I'm going to do this here. And I did it there. And then I said, you know, I'm going to do this every day for 30 days. 30 days, 30 black-owned businesses, 30 videos, blast it out. Get the word out there about the, um, wow. uh, where they are. Community. Wow. You, you know, I like that. I mean, I think that's a very simple uh, simple way to uh, support our own people. It's, it's funny. It almost seems like sometimes we can easily get behind something that other people are doing. Uh, but we mm. can't always get behind something that we're doing for ourselves. Maybe because we, we feel like maybe we don't deserve it or something like that. I don't know. But maybe the time is right. I mean, you know, you, you saw what happened in Ferguson. Black people were kind of doing their own thing with their mm. own mind, and it's something. It was something very uh, empowering, very positive. Uh, so, okay. so this can this can work as well. And so you're, you're using the hashtag by the Black Business Challenge dot com or so, not, excuse me. Black Business Challenge. That's the hashtag. Okay. Hashtag it. Black okay. Business Challenge. Black Business Challenge. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. messing it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so, so. Sorry about that. And we need it. Um, I was hoping maybe you can do one or, or maybe if you got some people out there. I heard about what happened in Chicago about um, the black one business restaurant and a white nigger painted. It is nigger go home or something like that. Okay. See, company, businesses like that, they need us. We should be at, they should have a line out the door especially when they're getting heat from their neighbors for just having being black in a in a dominated in an area dominated by white people wait we should be fooling them with love times like this we need to love each other and support each other wholeheartedly absolutely uh, the restaurant you're referring to uh it's called it's called nouveau tavern on the north side mm -hmm. of chicago and you know, and I've, if I'd known about your challenge, I would have actually done that. I would have taken that video because I, when I was there and I heard about what happened, and I, we, we chose specifically to go to that restaurant because we heard what happened. But we'd been there before. We loved the place, and we wanted to make sure yeah. they, they knew they, we, they had a support. And the best part about it was uh, not only was the food great and the service great, uh, but the atmosphere was amazing, and there were, it was just this place full of black people. And, and the Little League World Series came on, so we got a chance to watch oh, Jackie wow. Robinson West play. And all these black people are cheering for these kids in this baseball game. I mean, every time they got a hit, every time they made a great catch, every time you know a kid hit a home run, people, the That'd whole place was going crazy. And it was like the Super Bowl in there. I mean, it was it was beautiful. And I and, and I agree with you. I mean, I wish I had gotten some of that on tape, but but that's okay. That that actually puts the challenge on me now to go out mm -hmm. and find another business or maybe that that's same it. one or something like that. And, and you know, um, 
you know, it's funny. I I think also when you talk about this challenge, I think those of us who are really connected to the community, it's easier for us to uh, rally around something like this and to be excited about this challenge. I I can tell you, mm-hmm. I, I have, but one of my homeboys challenged me in the ALS thing with the water bucket. And I said, hell no, I'm not doing that crap. There's, you know, I'm, I'm, no way. <laughs> it's, it, there are people it, it, in Africa it, dying because they don't have water. There are people dying yes. in Africa. Oh, yes. oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, Doc, it gets me livid. Let me tell you what I'm starting to do. <laughs> That's okay. And I see people, my uh, friends of mine, so we're doing this challenge, and I saw no pictures of Mike Brown on their Facebook page, no pictures of Eric Gardner, I can't breathe, my brother, the brother in Staten Island was choked out by the cops. No pictures of any of this stuff that's controversial, that whatever you want to call it, that we need attention to. But they're pouring water on their heads for a disease that affects 90, 93% of people who have it are white males. I mean, nothing wrong with helping out white males, but can you help out the brothers first? Right. <laughs> well, you know, I, I saw this funny little uh, meme, one of those little Kermit the Frog things with Kermit sipping tea. And I think it's, it says something like, it said, your ass is doing the ALS challenge, but your grandma died of diabetes. <laughs> was, it, 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 <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's good. It's true stuff, man. Well, you know, well, you know, I'll tell you, uh, I, I think that the challenge is great. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna support it. Uh, you know, every, everything yeah. I can do to to make it successful. Starting with doing something myself, I'm gonna go out here and uh, and, and find a business to to support. Even though there's, there's quite a few around, I, I think I, I think I frequented a couple tonight actually. Uh, but I'm gonna find another one tomorrow and, and and do exactly what you told me to do on this. And uh, so so let me ask you. This. So when I do my video, am I supposed to challenge my friends? I mention them by name, the way call, you do with the yep. call them out. Okay, call them out. All call right, them. especially. If they're doing that ice bucket challenge thing, put heat on them. Put heat on them. Like, okay, you did that challenge. Now you can't do this one? Yeah. There you go. Challenge on the challenge themselves. There you go. If you can pour ice water on your head to save a white guy, you should be willing to go and, and, and enjoy some good food at a black-owned restaurant to support a black guy. Right? That's, that's, that's nothing complicated. I, I consider myself a master of simplicity. That, that's my business strategy, to master simple stuff. I don't like complicated stuff. I master simple stuff. And that's it. One-minute video. I say the website, the address. And I also shout out that the businesses have great service because there's this myth in our community. I call it propaganda that we don't have good customer service, which isn't always true. It's, it's less true than it is true. So I, I, I point out the positive. Let's... Point out the positive. Great customer service. Here's the website. Here's the address. Show them some love. That's it. Keep it rolling. Thirty and thirty days. All right. And and and, I, and I'll say I'm I'm wondering how do you distinguish between those businesses that are truly black owned and those businesses that have black employees but are owned by somebody else? Because you know oh, we, I got, we got a lot of those in in, in, in in our community too. Oh, we we have a lot. I ask. <laughs> I asked the owner. I asked, I asked who, who owns this place. What's the ownership? Um, and I become pretty cool with it because I'm a business owner, as you, as you are yourself. So, so we kind of have like a dialogue, and we kind of know who they are when we see them and how to approach them when we talk like bosses. We talk like bosses. So I'm pretty good at, about seeking those um, brothers and sisters out and just uh, talking shop with them and kicking game with them. And yeah, I asked. I have no problem asking if this place black owned. All right. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Andre Hatchett has introduced us to the Great Black Business Challenge of 2014. 30, 30 days. Yes. 30, 30 yes. Days. 30 days. And we're going to go into these businesses and we're going to record ourselves uh, for one minute. Mention the website. You said mention the website, the, the great service. Uh, you said the owners as well. Or? If you can talk to the owners, um, if the owner isn't there, um, ask an employee, take the video with you. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to do it. And don't be shy. Just, just do it. It's free exposure for them, um, and it, it will make you feel good as um, as a consumer, as a customer. It will make you feel good. It will make you feel proud about yourself and proud that you're fighting, doing something about the issues in our community. So I challenge everyone to do it. You feel great about yourself. Well, I love it. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I, I'm, I'm not just going to think about businesses that I can physically walk into. I'll also, you know, maybe if there's a if there are dot coms out there that are black owned, uh, bingo, uh, other bingo, organizations, right? Uh, I'll just literally record something and, and just talk about it and and uh, mention the name of the business, the website, the great service, uh, talk to the owner if I can, and then put it on my Facebook page and I will start pinging and and and, and tagging my friends and challenging them to do something for the community. 
and everybody uh, wins. Everybody wins. The business owner wins. You win as a consumer. We win as a community. You can't go wrong. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you, man. I, I appreciate you doing this, brother. And, um, and your website is buyblacknyc.com, correct? Yes, you got it. Black Business Directory and Wealth Building Resource. We show you how to become black-owned and how to find black-owned and how to grow wealth. I love it. All right, everybody. This is Mr. Andre Hatchett. Go check him out at buyblacknyc.com. He's, he's also one of our, our friends and partners with Financial Juneteenth. And I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Financial Juneteenth. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are going. Peace.